There we go. Good morning. I'd like to welcome everyone in the audience and those um, on Zoom or the Zoom, yeah. Zoom to the October 3rd zoning administrator meeting. My name is Kristen Tumians. I'm the zoning administrator. And uh, the first item of business is approval of the September 19th uh, minute, draft minutes. Um, I am taking public comments on approval of the draft minutes. If you are attending in person and wish to make a comment, please raise your hand. Seeing no one raise their hand, I will close the public comment. Um, the minutes for September 19th are approved as submitted. Now we're moving on to non-agenda public comment. Um, this is an, uh, the time when um, any person may address matters not listed on the agenda, but which are within the subject matter jurisdiction of this committee. If you are attending in person and wish to make a comment, please raise your hand. Uh, seeing no one raise their hand, I will close the public comment. Um, next, I will read the a zoning administrator statement of purpose. The zoning administrator is appointed by the planning and economic development director and has responsibility and authority to conduct public meetings and hearings and to act on applications for minor or reduced review authority projects or entitlements. A determination or decision by the zoning administrator may be appealed to the design review board, cultural heritage board, planning commission, or city council as applicable to the decision. All actions taken by the zoning administrator may be appealed within 10 calendar days. If the final day of the appeal period falls on a non-business day, the appeal period will be extended to the next business day. Um, moving on, there are no um, zoning administrator reports, so I'll move on to uh, the consent items. There is one item on consent. Um, this is um, a zoning interpretation concerning the required parking for various residential land use types within the boundary of the North Station Area Specific Plan. Uh, the project is exempt for the, from the California Environmental Quality Act. Um, this, um, I move to approve uh, the item on the consent calendar. Oh, sorry, before I move to approve the item on the consent calendar, is there anyone in the audience wishing to make uh, a public comment on the items on the consent calendar? Please raise your hand. Seeing no one raise their hand, I will close the public comment and I will approve the items on the consent calendar. Moving on to the only item on uh, schedule for today for the public meeting. It's a minor conditional use permit for a child daycare center located at 1620 Sonoma Avenue, file number CUP 24-037. And Planner Hartman will be presenting. Thank you, Zoning Administrator Tumians. My name is Suzanne Hartman and I'm the project planner for the Bilingual Child, child Development Center um, located at 1620 Sonoma Avenue. So this is a child daycare center um, that originally uh, came in, well, I guess some history on the, pro on the parcel is that there was a daycare center that was previously approved back in 2019 for up to 12 clients. And uh, today we are um, looking at a use permit for a new daycare center um, with a maximum of 40 clients, um, all in operation within the existing building. Uh, there will be eight employees and the proposed hours of operation are from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the required uh, planning entitlement today is a minor conditional use permit. This is an aerial of the uh, site as well as the surrounding um, parcels. Um, as you can see with a little red star here, that's, this is where the uh, use is proposed. The zoning district is R2 and the general plan land use designation is low density residential. The R2 zoning district is applied to areas of the city appropriate for residential neighborhoods with medium and higher residential densities to provide home rental and ownership opportunities and to provide a full range of choices and housing types to improve access to affordable housing. And although the R2 zoning district is mainly dedicated to residential uses, some general commercial services and other various commercial uses are permitted within the zoning district. 
And this district is consistent with the residential low to medium density land use classifications of the general plan. These are the project plans. The little red circle is the, kind of the area of where the uh, child uh, care, daycare rooms uh, are proposed to be. And then directly to the right here is a floor plan. Staff was able to make all the findings and are recommending approval of this, oh, that should say a, a conditional use permit application, not design review. The proposed project has been reviewed in compliance with the California Environmental Quality Act. Pursuant to CEQA guidelines section 15301, the project is categorically exempt because it involves only minor alterations to an existing facility. And pursuant to CEQA guidelines section 15183, the project qualifies um, for a statutorily exempt, is statutorily exempt because it is consistent with the general plan 2035 for which environmental impact report was certified by council in 2009. And I am also adding that it is exempt um, pursuant to section 15, uh, or to pursuant to class 32, which is um, included in the resolution. There, I've only received um, one phone call um, in regards to the project. And the main question I believe was about whether this child daycare center was going to be um, in, I guess, in operation with the existing church. And I confirmed with the applicant that the operation is separate from the church entity. Um, and I also would like to, um, I noticed that there were a few um, typos in the resolution and I just wanted to um, make that correction here, um, adding the following uh, language to the resolution. Um, in the first, whereas, um, I would like it to be uh, added that on January 23rd, 2018, a minor conditional use permit application was submitted proposing to operate a child daycare facility for up to 12 clients, period, and then adding a minor conditional use permit was granted on August 15th, 2019. And then also um, fixing a typo in the first uh, finding where it says from R2, I accidentally put low density residential and it should uh, say medium density residential. So therefore, it is recommended by the Planning and Economic Development Department that the Zoning Administrator, by resolution, approve a minor conditional use permit to allow a child daycare center at 1620 Sonoma Avenue. And my contact information is up here on the screen. And I also have the applicant um, with us today. If, if you have any questions, we also have um, the applicant representative uh, through Zoom as well. Um, they have no presentation, though. Okay. So thank you. Thank you, Planner Hartman. Um, applicant, do you have anything to add to Planner Hartman's presentation? Um, yes, only the records of licensing that I um, get from licensing that place was for 25 changes um, before in October. Oh, okay. Yes, like adding that information that was for 25. So we are uh, we are um, 50 more. And okay. we also get two more rooms because they used to have a short uh, um, less um, a place to use. So we have two more rooms, but what we have done. Um, oh, to give me bigger. It's bigger. Okay. Yes, it's two, two places more. One more room for babies and then um, uh, outdoor play too. Okay. Yes. That's why we add that <laughs> over 50 um, children to, to be 40. Yeah. Okay. Yes. But also confirming that nothing to the exterior is changing. It's just the interior that's changing, correct? Yeah. They, yeah. Yes, the, yeah. Okay. And Mr. Bloom is available on, on Zoom. If yeah. yeah. All right. Is there anything else um, that the applicant team would like to add that Suzanne has it covered? Seeing anything that came. No, thank you. Oh, thank you. you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna open it up to public comment. Is there anyone in the audience wishing to make a public comment? Please raise your hand. Seeing none, um, this is a sorely needed use, especially the infant portion. I'm glad you're, ad you're adding infants to the program. It's so hard to find um, childcare that includes infants. So 
there are a lot of preschools, but not enough infant care. So um, I think it's a great location. Um, looks like um, it's able to support the number of children um, that you're wanting to uh, serve. Um, it's in a well-served area with roads and um, uh, in a great location for the use. So because of that, and because of uh, Planner Hartman's findings, um, I'm able to support the project and will be approving that today um, as uh, recommended by Planner Hartman. Um, uh, please note that this action is final unless the appeal is filed with the city clerk's office within 10 calendar days of today's decision. Uh, for this item, that date is October 14, 2024. So that concludes our business for this meeting. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Mr. Raimundo and Martin that is helping with all the process. Thank you. And I will adjourn the meeting. Thank you.